HTTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services. Zanko, you're now back from the four day training camp in Portugal. How important was that? Uh, I think it was nice, of course, um, warm weather training is always a good thing, uh, even came back here and the sun is shining, so um, it was good to have time on the training pitch um, to, to, to get Jan's ideas and, and philosophy under the, under the skin. What are the notable differences with his philosophy compared to what we had previously? Uh, I think he has um, a different style of play uh, all in all, um, and it's 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 a bit more attacking, uh, with focusing on on attacking and scoring goals, and uh, that has been our problem this season. So it's it's good to be to be working on 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 that side of the game. Do you think it will take a lot of time to adapt to that? How are you finding it so far? I think it's quite uh, natural in the way that uh, a lot of a lot of uh, the players think football. Um, but of course, we need to get on the same page and and get all his ideas and uh, under his skin. And that's gonna, of course, take um, some time. But we're very committed and 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 want to to of course keep that learning that learning curve as uh, getting that in as, uh, as 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 fast as possible. You mentioned obviously the warm weather, it allowed you to train a lot more than what perhaps you could have done here obviously with the frozen pitches over the weekend. How, how important was that so you can kind of get some more time with him? I think that's, that's, that's essential for everybody, the time spent, the time we spend uh, together uh, as a unit uh, and as a group will only strengthen us so, so getting to actually go away and, and being together for yeah, three, four days uh, together was, was, was good and, and we actually got to, to again know each other a little bit better, um, even the, the new boys that came in. What's Jan Sievert like? Oh, he's intense uh, and, and he has a, a very clear view of how he wants to play football. Um, He's, he's modern as a, as a coach and has a lot of the, the modern traits of a coach as well and, and yeah, I think he's enthusiastic. Is he very hands-on in training? Very much. Uh, he, as I said before, he has a very clear idea of what, how he wants to play and how he wants people to, to act, so that's what we need to, to get under the skin as soon as possible. I suppose another good thing about going away, like you said, is everyone's together. It can help bring that positivity back into the group. Yeah, of course, we need to, to of course, we all know the seriousness um, of the situation that we're, we're in at the moment. Um, and, and of course, the, the more we're on, on the same track together and the more that we spend uh, with each other, it's easier for us to come together and have that togetherness that in the past has proven um, vital for us. 15 games left. What's he told you ahead of those? I just take one one game at a time. That's all we can do. Focus on one game at a time. Focus on scoring goals and and focus on then um, then going to the next one. Is it almost like every game's a cup final now? Um, I wouldn't say that. Um, we of course we're not delusional. We know that uh, we know our position and we know the way that we need to play the game. We just need to go out there and focus on the performance. Uh, and of course getting a result, but our performance and our, ourselves has to be the, the aim and, and what we need to focus on, not everything else around us or what's happening on the table or anything. So obviously Everton tomorrow night, what are your thoughts ahead of that game? Um, yeah, of course it's a team that we played against um, and, and drew, um, but it's a, it's a strong team, a team that put a lot of money in, in, into their team and that's maybe struggled a little bit uh, the past few weeks but we know it's a, it's a very good team with very good players. Do you think it's a bit of a benefit to us that we've had a longer period between games? Obviously they were playing Millwall in the FA Cup on Saturday, do you think that's a benefit to us? Uh, I wouldn't say that but I think that again looking at, at us it's been um, perfect timing with uh, the departure of David and, and Jan coming in with his new ideas that we actually had a, f uh, a few days on the, on the training pitch to focus solely on, on the new style of football that we're going to be playing. Um, so again, focusing uh, only on us, um, I think it's been a, a good thing for us, yeah. And we put a good performance in against Everton early in the season and got a point at Goodison Park. How much 
as players can you take from that, from what Everton or how they performed that day? Um, well, it's a new game, and if there's one thing that I think that we need to do is, is put the past in the past and just focus on the future. And right now, it's about putting in a good performance against Everton at home at the John Smith Stadium and and scoring some goals. Just finally, how much are you looking forward to being back in front of Towns fans? Yeah, of course. That's every time we go out there, we want to play good, and especially when we play at home, we want to go out there and 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 play in front of our own crowd and, and give them something to cheer for. Um, this season, have, there hasn't been a lot, but we're f focused on changing that. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.